Now in the past, when the new operating systems have come out for Apple, you know, sometimes there have been some bugs that users suffer from. We hear about phones slowing down, acting clunky, batteries not lasting as long as they used to, and sometimes we even hear about more serious side effects when updating, like people having their contacts erased. So if you can, I suggest you wait a month or two before downloading this new operating system. You know, see if there's any major bugs that need to be worked out. But if you can't wait and you want the new features that iOS 8 will bring you, here's how to update. Go into settings, then select the general tab, then software update. It takes about an hour depending on your signal strength. There are hundreds of changes iOS 8 adds to your iDevice, some subtle, some very noticeable. Like this, now if you double tap the home button, at the top of your screen is the contacts you contact the most. If you touch a name, then choices pop up to call them, text them, or email them. After you download iOS 8, you will notice this new app with a heart on your home screen. That's Apple's new health app. It acts as a dashboard to intake, organize, and display all your fitness and health data. Siri is now integrated with Shazam, an app that recognizes music and other media playing around it. Siri, what song is playing? You're listening to it last by Eddie James. This is my favorite new feature. It really beefs up text messaging. In iOS 8, when you send a text message, instead of typing, you can hold down this mic button and send an audio message. Hey, how you doing? I'm sending you an audio text message. Or on the other side of the typing box, you could press this video camera button and send a video text. Hey Gabe, right now I'm sitting in my live truck. To see more of the cool new features in iOS 8, log on to cron4.com and look for my tech page. 